people. So my, my father was a, a farmer and he would um, have his farms on these very steep hillsides, right? And one morning we had to take his breakfast in because he would leave early in the mornings and later on we'd take his breakfast. And he was at the bottom of the hill. And we were, you know, we had to, it was myself and my sisters. And when I looked down the hillside, it looked so steep, it was quite a sheer drop. So I stood up there crying and my sisters left. They got down to the bottom. And my father looked up and he saw me and there I was crying. And my father started talking to me and coaxing me. And I followed his voice and I came down the hill, um, the hillside, um, you know, had my steps. And it was just sheer joy when I got to the bottom and there I was with my father. But I always remember that it was his voice that kind of took me down that hillside. Yes, my fondest memory of my father was in my teenage years. I think I was about 13, 14 at the time. And I had this terrible stuff, um, which I just couldn't get over. But up to that time, I lived with my grandmother, not my father. But then several times he would wake up in the mornings and tell me, he had a dream and he saw me in a great auditorium speaking eloquently. And um, I think with that encouragement and with those dreams, I was able to get over the stuff of Morris. And um, that is very important. Hi, so this is about my father, the best dad he ever. I call him Daddy Don. This is a story of how he lovingly led me into getting beaten and how he treated me after the beating. So my mother planned to meet me the day. So he brought me on the road and he got me ice cream and an expensive toy that I love to play with. Brought me home, said nothing, put me into the beating and said, go to your mother. After I got the beating, he came into the room, pushed his hand through the door with my favorite juice, said nothing, and then closed the door. He knew it was going to happen the whole time. He just wanted me to know that he had nothing to do. The other thing that I would remember is when Dad used to carry me on his back. I remember we usually go to the Christmas market and um, we get candies and stuff like that. When we, when we, most of the time we work from work away from home for maybe weeks or two, but we always look forward for him when he comes back to bring us candies and um, all sorts of gifts. Yeah, the goodies. Goodies. <laughs> Fondest memory of my father, there are a couple actually. Um, so, my day with my father generally began or began with him taking me to school. Now, we generally walk to school based on the distance that we really from the school. And one of the things I was always fascinated with is that whenever my father was walking, he normally pulled me by his pinky. No, what I found in prison was that my hands were so small that I could hold his pinky and space with me at the end of his pinky. And I was always fascinated because I could just hold my father's pinky and walk with him and my entire hand wasn't even as big as the entire pinky thing. I always found that fascinating. So that's one of the things. So one of my favorite memories with my dad is he was a traveling officer. So every week, almost every weekend, he had to go to one of the forest branches. And to get company to go because he falls asleep very easily, he used to convince me and my little sister that we'd get food on the way. So almost every weekend, we'd pack up and go to a different parish of Jamaica. We'd stop almost all the time at KFC, buy a big deal or our wings and the whole way there, because it was an hour long road trip, we'd just be playing music, we'd be eating, we'd be laughing, and it was just honestly a good bonding time for me, my younger sister and my dad, and I think that's one of my favorite to be. So I have quite a few fond memories of me and my dad, but one of my favorites was, um, my father was a driver at Red Cross, so they had this little news program that they did in the afternoon where he would drop off meals to show things in the inner city so i used to go with him and then after that when we used to go home we had these old cassettes and yes 
I'm from Classic Days. I did play in the car. So like she weaves and so forth. And there's this favorite song that we had, Peace in the Valley. And we would sing that song all the way home. We would train my voice and all that. And people would look in because we never had the windows up. We never care about the AC or anything like that. People hearing us. And we'd sing so loud and it was just fun. I just enjoyed those moments with my life.